at my favorite We're getting in more. Of them all. Of every resort in the whole world. This is my favorite. This music. Tell? Can you tell? Can you tell? This music. Really good plaza. Good. We haven't been back here since we decided that we had a favorite, a different favorite pool. Yep, and I feel guilty. I feel else. guilty. The geyser of geyser point. It looks kind of dry today. Um, look at that bird. That bird is just relaxing in the water. Bird, there's no food in this water. The bird heard me. Ooh, the bird's on one foot right now. Balance against We're stream? Going, yeah. Oh, no. Goodbye, bird. I think the bird thinks the bird is invisible now. So, oh, wait, it got oh. spooked by something. My dear Evangeline. To continue the week of really slow business in Disney World, now we have a completely almost empty um, marshmallow roast. That's called a successful marshmallow roast. No, it's extra good. It's extra in my teeth. My dentist is not going to be thrilled. That's okay because technically my dentist is in Chicago still. Mm -hmm. um, I like to point out that I broke my work phone screen nine days before I'm actually done working for them. Luckily. I can fix it. You can fix it. But nine days. I've worked there for 13 months, had a work corporate phone, and I break it nine days before I'm leaving. What's up with that? We're actually at this beautiful lake right here. Bay Lake, ever heard of it? Wow. Snob alert. No, we're here to hang out with two of our friends that we haven't seen in like forever. Is it a surprise? No. Their names are Sean and Chica. Yeah. We brought our last Beverly from San Pellegrino, from Italy, and I think he's supposed to bring something called Moxie, some kind of taste. some kind of pop that tastes so good, he says. So we're gonna have a little taste. I don't know if they've actually been here, so if they haven't, we have to give them a Brookhart spieling, long-winded explanation and tour of the grounds. And why it's the best. And why it's the best, and why it must be their best, or else we can't be friends. And then we're just gonna hang out. They're here, they're here, they're really, really here. Sean didn't bring the moxie. I was gonna bring moxie. He said next time. There's only like one store, oh, I guess. Like we got Sean. What up? What's going on, everybody? We got Chica. Hi. She's she's sugaring me up before I go on a run tonight with some Goofy's Candy Co. You still that your name doesn't start with an I mean, I was hoping nobody would point it out, but uh, in a minute, it'd be like Brian. It's Brian. My middle name is Brian. That could work. I'm gonna let them mentally prepare themselves, but in a minute, they're gonna try the real oh, Beverly. I'll try, try it right now. Yeah. Bust it. I know. I, mean, I, I feel like so I've been I never say like, ingesting like, really gross like, stuff for like the past like couple of days. Sean's, my, Sean's with me though. Like, we drink the Beverly and drink I it with pride. Like, I, I think right now I'm, I enjoy Beverly a lot. Like I just like going in there. Are you gonna try? This is just take a sip. No, they're okay with pride. You know what we should do tonight? I want to design or come up with the idea. She's the designer. I want to come up with the idea for a Beverly shirt. We should just get like two run, two made, <laughs> just for you and me. I'm in. I'm in. Actually, yeah, I'm in. Yeah. And he said this is more. Uh... It's from Italy. It's more grapefruit. Because now, after I had that, I had Beverly again, and it tasted like now when you go back and try Beverly, it may taste a little. Grapefruit is to you, but I can't tell that other that other fruit. No, this is a lot sweeter than Beverly. Oh yeah, it doesn't have that pukey bile taste. It's still not so good. It's sweeter. No, it tastes really sweet. I can actually like taste. No, it. It looks like a bowl of plants. Yeah, with a little with a little with a little bit of sugar. It smells like a bowl. Like if someone just scooped like earth up and put it in a bowl. It tastes sweeter, but that's how the Beverly actually tastes. When I finish like something. So you can drink this, but you can't eat escargot. Okay. Can you 
<laughs> he backed away, he went running. Come on, baby, you got this. Do it for the vlog, 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 do it for the vlog. Oh my god. Oh, okay. Are you okay? You gotta get past that mental hump. <laughs> so how is it? I don't like it. Oh no. It tastes like I just drank potpourri. <laughs> <laughs> I like that, that description. Oh though. my god. Oh yeah, we had It's the, all you, Sean. The croissant escargot was <laughs> really bad. Where was it, it from? Was it from France? France. We we need to step up our game. I like escargot. I've had it before. I love Have it. Have you had cow's tongue? Yes. Love cow's tongue. Lingua. Ooh, look at that sky right there. Even though. Sean did me dirty and didn't bring Moxie. I didn't bring the Moxie. We're gonna try to make sad. the night a little extra magical, and we're gonna try to get up in the top of the world. I gotta bring it for next time. Like, I gotta find Moxie, I'm gonna mm -hmm. bring it next time. Getting down on some sodas. Some, the some, soda some, challenge. Some pop. Some pop. Some pop. Some pop. It, oh, that's, that's a Midwest. Tr Midwest. Midwest. Chicago. Chicago. Is it a Midwest or a Chicago? Pushing our luck, there was a crazy thing with the boats. We were waiting for pirates to get off the dock. We were waiting like, what were we, like 15, 20 minutes on yeah, that boat? Yeah, it was like a 20 minute. In the middle of the water, just sitting there. Yeah, just sitting next to the We noticed the spiders at the end. Because <laughs> I would have been freaking out the whole time. Okay, I don't know what the little college program girl was thinking downstairs, but they let us out. <laughs> we're in. So, we're, we're gonna watch some fireworks. Oh, wow, this is weird. Right, so we're up in the top of the world lounge. I just want to give a warning again, if you're ever up here, this is the most firewatery, firewater, Florida water ever. Sean and Sheikah don't even want it, but me and Sarah are like, we at least have to hydrate. Drink it quick, drink it fast, and they won't taste as Florida-like. Showing Sean and Sheik all the hidden corners. We don't typically do resorts, so. I'm teaching Sean all the bad habits of going to the seventh floor of the Wilderness Lodge and touching the touching totem pole. The totem. And it's a uh, good luck. Good luck to touch the totem. It's either good luck or we just got cursed for life. Please don't curse me. So we got rocking chairs for days. It's not my favorite rocking chair, but it's. No, it's a little flimsy, but. By, uh, you know, Big Thunder Mountain. Standards? Where does it fall on the Big Thunder Mountain curve? Uh, I would say it's a little less than. The one at the Big Thunder Mountain or Tom Sawyer Island or the Pirate Island. Oh I yeah. Fall, that was my favorite one, I can't get to it. But it's a lot bigger and it faces Big Thunder. And yeah, uh, we've, we've gone there a few times. Love it. We've gone there. No, but this is a good view if you like to here and chill out. Yep. Our goal tonight was to have you and Sheik, I think this is at least in the top five of your resorts. I would say it's my number one. I would say it's definitely in top five, but we haven't seen <laughs> many resorts. Yeah, you haven't seen it. <laughs> like we've been to like uh, all sorts. Of the uh, no, the the art one, art of animation. Art animation. We've been to that one. Amazing. And then the that uh, one, best food court. Pop Century. Pop Century. Got Dole Whip. Love it. Pop Century is my favorite gift shop. Right. In all of Disney. I like art of animation because they have the uh, you can draw on the Mickey. Like they have the animations I mean, like class. You know what? That's Sarah's biggest pet peeve about studios. Is how you can't do that anymore. I, the classes. I, I like the classes. Those yeah. are like the best, especially when you go to like uh, California Adventure. Yeah. And they have that. Well, I think we did that when we went because we knew there wasn't a studio anymore. All right, we're gonna go play. We're adventure. gonna go. Let's go explore. Let's go explore. We're exploring. All right, we've made our way to the to the back side of Wilderness Lodge. And you can hear the geyser. Yeah. This was so. This was my favorite pool up until I got. Uh, we had friends staying at Beach Club, and I got in that one, Storm Along uh -huh. Bay. Until that, this was my absolute favorite pool ever. Was that one right there? There's a pool. there's a stream. My favorite part is there's a stream that starts in the lobby. Yeah. Goes all the way outside into the pool, so you can just like lay there with the water like basking <laughs> over you. Is that one better than upstairs? This was a lot better. 
Only because like my whole leg is on it. <laughs> I don't know how big the rock. Oh yeah, this is like a rocking chair from uh, Cracker Barrel. There you go. Yeah, Cracker Barrel rocking chairs are the best. We're in the smokers' lair, aka the parking lot front side of Wilderness Lodge. Yeah, I wonder like. There's literally nothing out here but lots of cement and holes to look inside the resort. Yeah, you can look in. Can we can we see them? Look at that. Is this the definition of like a peeping tom? Yeah. Oh, yeah, we're man. being voyeurs, and they won't even see us. No, they don't. What if we hit the, What if we hit one of these? <laughs> I was able to convince them to come check out the train room. How does this rocking chair hold up? Perfect because they have cushions. Like they have like deep cushions on the back, like on the bottom and the back. Yeah. So you're just like I'm just gonna sleep in front. Of them. So would you, would would you say that the rocking chair itself is better than Times Square Island? The location is not. I know it's a tall, it's tall statement. That was hard. This was definitely like in my top two. Like, oh wait, it's called something. Ingle Nook. A nook by a large open fireplace, also a bench or settle <laughs> occupying this nook. We found something today. Right <laughs> we found something today. Like no knowledge is power. Yes. <laughs> I don't think I realized at Wilderness Lodge until we were here with Sean and Chica how many rocking chairs are here. There are seven. Yeah. And they're all different kinds too. Right outside the train room. <laughs> We found the eighth rocking chair, and it's a little kid one. Alright, here we go. Oh, oh, I got out of it. Yay. It looks like it's not the sturdiest. No, it's not. But you, you survived. Like my whole you, waist was like the size you of You came out a better man. I did. I did. <laughs> you know by the looks of this cute hand-licking dog that we are home. So, we're home. Thanks again, Sean and Chica, for hanging out. Um, should have said it earlier, but like, go check out their their YouTube channels. Mm -hmm. We'll put the information down below. They are amazing. Um, I Don't love... mind our uh, ironing board in the background. I forgot to put it away this morning because I'm bad. <laughs> um, but I love Sean. Does a lot of like, he does do Disney stuff, but he does a lot of like, not traditional like Central Florida stuff. So check them out. Go give them a, a like and a subscribe and check out their videos because if you like our stuff, I'm sure you'll like their stuff. Totally. It is. Good to be home. Good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>